Today we have several minor cases to deal with. Ah, oh, so this should be nice and fast. Mm, still scary how low we are with revolution and aristocrats. Oh, wow, we got some real fast ones. So, locksmith Jeffrey Lopi was commissioned to install a lock on one of the Baron's chests. Damaged and encrusted lid. The Baron appraised the damage and said it would cost 50 francs to repair. Lopi claims the cover was damaged before he started work. Off with his head. Marie Jose de Mont, 16 year old Marie Jose de Mont, bought two kilograms of onions on a street market. Yet she paid only for only one. Next time the girl showed up at the market, the storekeeper took her to the nearest police station. Off with her head. He wants me to spread fear. Matthew Bezanard been gossiping at the tavern of Rue St. Martin, telling anyone who cares about his sexual relationship with Luke Halliton's wife. Investigation have established that he was probably lying. Off with his head. Amen Peter. Soldier in the National Guard took a break during a patrol to go to an inn in the river. The locals saw him drinking dark foreign beer. The owners testified that he demanded free beer, threatening others the owner shall be in trouble. Ah, quit him, he just wanted beer. Marie Garot. Little boy died, probably as a result of being beaten when she brought her son to the doctor, and the only thing he could have he could do was declare him dead and call for the guards. The investigators' inquiry about the location of the child's father at the time of the incident, the suspectors refused to answer. Well, sounds like you did it and you're covering for him and your son died for it, so screw you. 68-year-old Hippilot Ranant has harassed his neighbours for quite some time. Recently he set dogs on a group of children who live in the same building as he does. And he was the last... that was the last straw. Their parents decided to accuse him of assault. Children who live in the same building, okay. In the same building. Let's say if they're in his yard, that's one thing. But no, if they're in the same building, then he's in the room. Screw him. Lots of people die. There you go, Rosphere. Is that what you wanted? Thank you. Even the least powerful deserve justice. The common folk love me, and again, revolutionaries and aristocrats do not. It's getting very dangerous. Where would you like to go? Gambling den? Let's go to the gambling den. We always go home and spend time with the family. Let's go gamble and drink for a while. Roll the dice. Let's have a look. I can re-roll three things. We roll those. Well, oh, it's better by one. 120. I'm gonna lose again. 150. Roll the dice. That's honestly not a bad one. I think I'll let him go. You can see he got a bad one. He's re rolling though, and now it'll be way better. Yep. 100. Okay, so we, we rolled equal. I think I'll re-roll this one. Re-roll. Again, just barely better. And he did amazing. Roll the game. Two and three. Go. Three threes. Still better. Oh my god, he got a good roll. He's gonna beat me because there's no way I'm gonna be at her. Unless I get a really high roll. It's not bad, but nothing else I can do. You only lost your pride a mere trifle. Actually, we got equal. Deadlock. Allows you to force the prosecutor to sign your report in court, which may save you from losing your post if you fail to fulfill your duties. Unable to gain favor from him. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Would have been nice to win that. 
And my family won't like that because I went gambling. Evening at the Den story event. They're not happy. But when are they ever happy with me? My family just eternally hates me now. The young son loved me, but now he's dead. Spreading our influence, keeping the city nice and blue. Why was he able to move twice? See, I want him to go there. Lower the further because it's really scary in there. You there. Wow, you can't actually take that guy out. Um, you go here then. You take him out. You take him out. On to the intrigue. How did we go? Success and a failure. Alright. So the homeless were useless, but we did work with these people a bit. Arresting priests and giving a speech. Okay, that's next. Tinvale investigation. Perform an action. Oh, performing an actual action. Please forgive me for being a little late. You have only piqued my curiosity, Monsieur Le Juge, as Monsieur I cannot guess what I have done to deserve this invitation. You must have heard rumors about Archbishop Gobel. Come now, Alexis. You are poking fun at my intelligence. We both know that you are the author of the denunciation. No. How can you be so sure? I am not a fool. You have eliminated Roland and Pash, and now you are trying to get Gobel. The reason why may elude me, but I do not care. He doesn't care. Uh, Gobel has a child. We should reveal his hypocrisy. Aggressive. These days we should make an effort to show who is just and who is not. He has a huge following. He's pretty bullheaded about that. It's manipulation. Gobel should get a chance to do the right thing. That sounds like, oh wow, all my manipulations were wrong. Mm, okay. Well, the first one was right, so as long as your balance of profits is positive. There are some people, however, who care about justice. What do I care about anyone's bastard? The country is in flames because of the rebellion in Vondi, and I am supposed to be preoccupied with something like this. An illegitimate child in Paris. Now that truly is a novel. <laughs> it's kind of true. You have seen what is going on in the street. All this hatred must find an outlet. And are you going to wait because like it does not pay off to make the effort? And if the mob puts your head on a pike, will you record it as a profit or a loss? Your concern for my career and life ah, is moving. Nevertheless, work. I do not think I have a reason to worry about any of the threats you have mentioned. I serve France well, and France knows it. It's still doubtful. You care about your career. Do not deny it. Nobody can gain advancement in this city without the knowledge and approval of the Archbishop. That's true. You will be kissing the ring of a man who is even more an opportunist than you are. It's true. He does care about his career. Every Catholic should get the chance to redeem themselves. <laughs> As an Archbishop, Gobel should do this openly to console the hurt Parisian souls. That's true. And maybe even save the lives of many innocent people. I must say that your Aha. arguments are He's intrigued. convincing. I will look into this subject. We just made it. Maybe it is a good thing that fortune is on your side. After all, you want to go against Gobel. That was close. I could have screwed that up. Hey, aristocratic endorsement. And revolutionary endorsement. That will actually help a lot. We successfully got him on board. I mean, that's nice. Therefore. Mm. 
What's this? Prosecutor. Right. So the common folk, revolutionaries, and the prosecutor all want him dead, but my family and aristocrats want him acquitted. Now what's all this news? May I remind you that you owe me after our last game of dice? You lost yesterday, remember? The accused dies today. Is that him declaring that he wants him dead? God save the Queen! Are you still live on the streets eating what I stole or found? So I said I'm a spy, stealing information for a living. Recently spent some time near a British court. I will not tell you who sent me there. It seems my past is trying to reach out to me. Why now am I able to finally do something? I believe in, for me, for someone else. I suggest you refrain from meeting strangers in dark alleys. If someone claims to know detail about my life, they'll probably want me dead. Ramel. Interesting. Case files. You're up for murder and treason. Alfred Renier is a 43-year-old baker from northern Parisian suburbs. Renier has been accused of causing the death of several children from the neighbourhood. The defendant and his wife have two sons and a daughter. Witnesses claim that he is a man of few words, but sympathetic. He would not refuse to sell bread on credit neither. Did he ever add sawdust to flour during the investigations? His house was searched and no monarchist materials were found. The lawsuit against Baker were filed by three women that blame him for the death of their children. In total, eight minors were found dead. The case of death was confirmed by Parisian doctor as hunger. This guy's messed up. A week earlier, those women, together with a small group of neighbours, tried to force the Baker to sell them bread, or at least some flour. According to the witnesses, they were no more than 15 people standing in front of the bakery. Renier categorically refused and threatened to call the guard. When the hungry people asked him to increase the production of bread, he refused. On the next day, three mothers who were now accusing him once again paid him a visit. They were not able to buy bread. The investigator assisted by soldiers found a large supply of flour in the bakery stores. It's hard to prove. Oh, sorry. Whether the death of children was caused solely by the baker's behaviour. The baker testified that he was buying his flour from a peasant in the countryside. However, nobody has ever seen him in Paris. People are gossiping that he is conspiring with the Austrians. Many believe the Habsburgs are trying to fight the revolution by starving the citizens of Paris. The accused couldn't explain his reason for not selling bread. He would only say that he didn't have a choice. Okay. Um, so... No monarchist materials. Okay. Murdering traitor. We want our bread. When the hungry and desperate people start discussing possible conspiracies, it's better to stay away from their suspicions. The defendant may introduce himself. Alfred Renier, I'm a baker. You're accused of the death of several children. I didn't kill anybody. I could never hurt a child. You may not have used the knife, but he is still guilty. Heartless bastard. Okay, let's ask some questions then. Hunger in Paris. Counter revolutionary. Do you know the country is at war? Yes, I'm aware of that. Then why do you refuse to help your fellow citizens? Your actions are a betrayal of the Republic. I can charge you with treason. Do you know that I am also fighting a personal war? One where I'm struggling to survive for the survival of my family. Any other war can wait. I have three children and a wife, and I cannot betray them. If we lose every child, we'll be starving. He sold his soul to the Austrians to get a few breadcrumbs to his whore. Okay. okay what was with the hostile tactics? What? I fell in the trap. God damn it. Death of children. Please call the witness. Yeah, I want to hear about these children. Please introduce yourself. Aaron Lemont. I examined the children. Man, they really want them dead now. Could you describe the conclusion after their examination? 
They were weakened and gaunt, clearly malnourished, and they must have been in the state for some time. Would a few loaves of bread from a baker have helped avert the tragedy? You cannot give a starving person bread on an empty stomach that usually has a disastrous effect. And no, a little bread would simply postpone their death for a few days. How dare you? Perhaps in those few days the parents would have been able to find more food. Perhaps. What do you think about the Austrian plan to starve all of Paris? That's just ridiculous. One beggar? People talk of dozens. In my experience, people often talk nonsense. A large group of uneducated people will always look for the simple answer. Let us assume for a moment that the rumours were indeed true. Would such a conspiracy of bakers lead to the death of a large number of people? I guess it would, yes. Many Parisians eat mostly bread, so the numbers of death would increase. Have you recently noticed an increased number of people starving into death? Yes, but I don't really think it's the result of a plot. There are other reasons, too. Food supply troubles, the war, the chaos, caused by both of them. Good thing we figured it out. Treason! <laughs> people are so wanting to kill this guy. Who's this mysterious supplier? A peasant in the country? Yeah, that's very weird. I need to do this again. Counter revolutionary. How is your flower delivered? Collect it myself every Saturday. So you regularly travel out of town? Does anybody else go with you? No, why? Because suspicion about you being a spy and a conspirator. Why would it be strange that a baker travels to the countryside once a week to collect flour? Why would it be strange if someone who regularly travels is recruited as a spy? Call in the witness. You were the one who traded with the defendant? Please introduce yourself. Rutman, my name. I'm a peasant and a miller. Yes, I traded with him. Why not? Did I do something wrong? How long have you been trading? Six, seven years now? Did you ever notice the change in the defender's behavior recently? No, he was kind, like always. Though he tried to convince me to trade only with him. That is suspicious. I agreed. Why would I care? He always paid well. He was buying enough, I mean, sure. It was odd that he had that much money with him. But none of my business, right? Did any of your other clients regularly buy such quantities of flour? It was unusual, yes. I don't know why he needed so much flour, but these are difficult times that he always paid in advance. Other people often ask for deferred payments, but he never has. He never asked for a payment, eh? So he's always got money. The Austrians must have paid the baker well for this information. Stranger name for a Frenchman. My father came from Hanover. Is the citizen aware that we are also at war with Hanover? So what? My father is dead. He can't fight anyone. I was born here. Fair enough. Is it true that you refused to sell bread to those three women? Yes, they came to me asking for bread. Were they trying to get it for free? No, they were pushing money into my hands even more than they were supposed to. And he yelled at us. Did you tell him that you needed it for your children? Yes, and he still refused. Have you no conscience? I asked them politely, yet they wouldn't leave. Why did you refuse? I had no other choice. Um, that explained absolutely nothing. I'm not going to ask him that, because that'll put him towards acquittal. These women claim you refuse your refusal was a direct cause of their children's deaths. What do you say to that? Was my bread the last scrap of food in Paris? If I wanted to feed their children, they should have tried harder. Tries to blame those poor women. A traitorous Austrian spy declared, dares to call me a bad mother. He's suggesting the tragedy was due to negligence of the parents. I am a father of my own children, not of every child in the neighborhood. Attitude shows that you do not understand the revolutionary ideals. Freedom, equality, brotherhood, and a sharp blade decapitate the bastards. 
the ledger as evidence. And that would help with William, so let's... Death penalty? Oh, but that would put me at risk of death from the aristocrats, and that is dangerous. But I need Tinvel's help. I'm gonna have to risk it, and I'm just gonna have to go out of my way to try and get them on side. But I'm now at risk of death. This is really dangerous. Did the defendant confess to the crime? Well, he, he said he wouldn't sell them bread, but I guess no. He said he didn't kill them. I believe it was. What was found during the investigation of his house? A supply of flour? Why did the defendant not share his supplies? He kept them for his family. Was that right? Guilty of deliberately starvation of the citizens of Paris, causing the death of children, and for those crimes, I sentence you to the guillotine. My children are still dead. Give his flower to the people. So it's right about everything but the confession. So he did confess to not feeding them, I guess. so dangerous though, the aristocrats are going to try and kill me. Are you ready for the show? It's not my first time, Ramel. Remember the people must turn against him. Google is not your average second-rate politician. I can handle it. I don't know if I can handle it, I feel like I might die. I don't really need the people on side, they're already pretty happy with me. Not like I'll convince the aristocrats here. They will be on your conscience. Boom. He did. Uh oh, this is a different screen. Is something happening? Oh, I'm pointing at the church. What does that mean? Uh -oh. I'm gonna convince will the people. We finally get rid of those holy hypocrites. Kill us, Monsieur Le Juge. The people do love me. When will Tinville drive them into a corner? Let's use these. Oversensitive, bullheaded. I know how angry you are. It's their fault. Carefree. They have lived off your hard work for so many years and they still do. Goebel is the worst among liars. Go to him. Demand that he tells you the truth. Oh, that was wrong. Two of them were right. Yeah, well. Be angry. Be ruthless. If someone's head needs to be impaled, do it. It is your city. Your country! Your country! Let's try humility. Citizens, you have paid too much for your freedom and equality to hand them over to someone who will not allow you to ever fight again. <laughs> I mean, that worked. Archbishop Gobel is another embodiment of that evil which you yourself have overthrown. He spies, incites, and harasses everyone who stands in his way. Hell yes. France cannot afford priests who have illegitimate again. children or archbishops who are involved in civil wars. Tell him that. I just turned the people against the archbishop. Rise! With maximum efficiency. Common folk love me again, but they always love me. The common folk are just in love with me, and it's annoying because I want the other factions to like me. Uh oh, what's happening? Uh oh. Uh oh. 
<laughs> the people love me. Please protect me. Please don't let me die. Oh no! The enemy's militia. During the battle you may encounter additional conditions which your troops will speed at civilians. Death to those who dare raise their hands against the church. Not against the church, but against his greedy priests. The ones who are dragging friends underwater. Okay. I think I actually have more men than them. The enemy militia is fighting harder, okay. In that case, defense. Let the enemy militia attack us if they're so fighting much harder right now. Let's go for the defense. Oh, we took out their shooters. Nice. Yeah, I feel like defense was a good move. Turn two. Are they still? They're still fighting harder. But with only four of them left. Particularly effective when you have a lot of. Sh a lot of shooters. I mean, I have a lot of shooters. Let's do this. Even though they're fighting harder. Oh, frontline versus frontline. Shit. I should have just been defensive again. But it's fine. Wow, they are fine. Well. But they only have one guy left. <laughs> it's all over for them. Feel like he's gonna go defensive? No front line assault, okay. He's gonna die anyway from the first shots, no doubt. Huzzah! I think I had best go home today. After what I just did, it's probably best I'm not in the public where I risk getting killed every day. Yeah, they're not happy because of the way the trial went. We could visit Frederick's grave. Why is the wife not happy if we go to Frederick's grave? I mean, alright, let's visit his grave. I'm hasten to forget. I guess that means the wife doesn't want to see it. What? Did we not take that guy out? Hey, <laughs> the crowd took him out. Awesome. Damn it. He's wounded, so we can't do anything. District already upgraded. Maybe went over here to that two percent. Pretty fully upgrade. I don't think I can do anything. Oh no, we can here. Upgrade that. Cool. Tim Bell investigation didn't really work out too well. Arresting the priest and giving a speech. Yep. Success. Sucks that that didn't work out. Gaining support of the 
convention. Ah, oh, yeah, will be performed the next day. Purple Sun reveals himself. Perform an action. So, hold on. Even with the support of the people, we will not be able to attack the constitutional priests without the aid of the authority Kerbal answers to. I must make sure that the members of the convention turn their backs on the clergy. Alright. Let's get Grace, because so far she's been pretty on my side. I suppose I have to convince everyone, don't I? If I don't have enough influence points to just automatically do it. Trouble with Gerbel. They all think we're on the same side as liars and traitors. The situation on the street is difficult. I only poured salt in the wound. Need to punish someone. Wow, that didn't work out very well. Alright. Well, the first one was good, so manipulation. I just need to not royally screw up the next two. Because people suspect that she was spying insurgents. Didn't just happen, did it? Anyway, go on. Global ruin everything. Everything will make sure it never gets out. Instead, he acted like a child. Uh-oh. Uh, Mapule, maybe? Got her back up to intrigued. Not exactly fully convinced, but she's not against it. It's counted as a success. Cool. And endorsement. So cool. That gets me out of the range of being killed by them. George Dante. Haven't seen this man for a while. He runs the press, doesn't he? Situation in the street is becoming difficult to control. The trouble with Goebbels is that he's only poured salt onto the wound. We need to punish someone. Okay. Well, that's at least the first two that were good. So that'll give me a fair few points. I shouldn't be able to screw it up massively. I know that the promise to serve the people and defend liberty, but our citizens are taking things too far. People in our position show no interest in the crowd, only the troublesome individuals who stand in the way. I assume I'll hear about them soon. If rumours prove to be true, Goebbels' presence will make the situation even worse. Do we want people to think the authorities are corrupted? My reputation is at stake, as is yours, my friend, from the convention. Goebbels really become irritating splinter, but I understand his situation. The rich are always accused of more than they actually did. So that was wrong. People want to get to the clergy. I'm against hurting the church. It hurts itself through the hands of degenerates that are cursed on our citizens. We need to cut ties with the entire group for the greater good. I was never enthusiastic about radical solutions, but always turned out to be only expensive. Today, however, I see the other way. We convinced him. I think last time we failed to. So the revolutionaries like me, as well as the aristocrats. I needed points with both of them, which is good. Oh, we're not even going to try with the third, I guess. Guess we didn't need any more. That, I think I'm going to stop there because I am getting tired. I've been streaming now for like four or five hours or something. So I think I'll quit out here and it'll restart this day when I play it tomorrow. I'll stream again tomorrow. I'm going to update my description below so you guys can see when I stream. I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays now as soon as I get home from gym. That way it becomes a routine. But all right. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you all next time. Just going to make sure. Hey people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel, feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description, I stream on Twitch 3, 4 days a week, and 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one, I hope.